Good evening, I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. It's only the second week of the new year, and already there have been two fatal hit and run crashes here in Bakersfield. 23 ABC's James Johnson spoke to an attorney about hit and runs and what charges you might face if you leave the scene of an accident. James? It seems to be happening more than usual just this weekend. Two separate accidents taking the lives of two men, two outcomes that could have been differently had somebody called for help instead of driving away. I think hit and runs are going to become more of a problem. Hit and run accidents continue into the new year, killing two Bakersfield men just this weekend. Michael Luckhart is a criminal defense attorney in Bakersfield. Why do I think most people don't stop? Because they don't want to take responsibility for being in the accident. The law says you're supposed to stop after every accident, whether there's property damage or someone is injured. If someone is injured, it could be a misdemeanor or felony not to stop. And if someone dies as a result, an additional five years could be added to your prison term. Quite often, people leave the scene of an accident. As a practical matter, that creates almost a presumption of guilt. The DA will use that or the law enforcement officers will use that. A new public alert system plans to help track down hit and run drivers on California's roadways. The so-called yellow alert system went into effect on January 1st and will use highway signs and send messages to your cell phone to help track down people who flee the scene of an accident. I think it's another public relations feel good stunt. Quite frankly, it'll probably in practice turn out to be totally worthless and over time you'll find almost nobody apprehended through its use. Luckhart says the best thing to do is to pull over as soon as you hit someone and call for help. That split second decision to stay can save a life. The motorcyclist who died on Saturday on District Boulevard has been identified as 26 year old Cody Williams. Meanwhile, officials haven't identified the 74 year old who died here last night here on Panama and Union. Both cases are still open and are under investigation. Reporting live, James Johnson, 23 ABC.